Yo, right, YouTube, Spig Mike, without further ado, retro. Um, it's been an absolute age since we made a video. We haven't had much in the way of pickups. Um, so this is what we've been picking up over the last couple of months. So without further ado, we'll get on with it. Cheers. So, uh, first up is an Amiga game. Not sure what it's going to be like, but uh, a genre I'm definitely interested in looking into. It's a game called Seconds Out on the uh, Amiga. Looks like a bit of a, a sort of punch-out rip-off. Look at the graphics there. So we've got a sort of uh, wire f sort of guy or a see-through guy. Um, it's supposed to be quite humorous, um, and yeah, it's supposed to be quite humorous. You know, pretty good boxes by Prism Leisure. I'm not expecting much, but I'm sort of going basically. I'm going to be looking at um, bo boxing games on the Amiga, so it'd be quite interesting to do. As as you all know, I'm into me boxing. Um, I'm not sure. Um, who that is on the cover there if anyone if anyone knows if it's just two generic guys in shorts initially i thought it's frank bruno and um oh lennox lewis but the guy that was lennox lewis is wearing a pair of american shorts and the guy with the fist in his face i thought it's frank i don't know so if anyone knows on that one uh let me know in the comments that'd be quite interesting or it could just be two two generic actors um you know with a pair of shorts and a pair of gloves on <laughs> right the next one is a game more known from the old 8 bits um not played on the amiga but i thought buy it has got this one cheap which is joe blade um again sort of a bit of a, an 8-bit classic but i just uh, i think it's just like less than a fiver same with same with this seconds out i think it's pound plus delivery i've just been doing like sort of cheeky bids really uh and and seeing what comes of it so the next one um, is Fantasy World Dizzy on the Amiga. It's a cardboard, um, cardboard box release on this. Uh, not sure if I have a different release to this in the, uh, you know, in the sort of uh, the, the plastic cases. But again, I think this is like a pound and three pound delivered. Can't go wrong with a bit of Dizzy. I know there's a few, a few would argue, but. Dizzy was an absolute classic when we were uh, in our younger days. Um, this one here, um, which is Pro Boxing by Codemasters. So sticking on the sort of boxing theme and the boxing vibe. Um, looks, uh, it doesn't look great. <laughs> but um, yeah, just interesting. Just, I'd just like to see, again, I think this is a pound and three or four pounds delivery. You know, so uh, Pro Boxing, definitely... Worth a look. Probably going to be absolutely naff. Um, Alright, the next one is a game I've never uh, seen or heard of before. It is a game called Garrison by uh, Rainbow Arts. And to me, this looks like a massive rip-off of um, Gauntlet. You know, even the characters are named the same. I don't know if this is possibly a German release of Gauntlet. And that's what Gauntlet is, Garrison in German or something, but... <laughs> Who was going to buy? I can't, I can't even remember now. I know it was a US gold release, wasn't it, in uh, on the UK? But I don't know who, what company does it. Was it Midway? Midway was going to? I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments as well. But this garrison, you know, you've got a wizard, warrior, elf, Valkyrie and dwarf. Characters are all named the same. I just can't see how they wouldn't have got sued for this. You know, because it's, you know... anyone If anyone knows, let us know in the comments, but... Bought that, so I've never seen it before. Um, very, very interesting. And, you know, I picked it up and it was cheap. It was like about eight quid or under a ten. I wouldn't have paid a lot for it. Um, right next, next up. Again, this one's got a bit of a blown corner. Again, I think this is a pound plus postage. Which is Global Gladiators. Um, not the best of condition box. I actually do have this already. I just put a cheeky bid in. Um, yeah, the box is pretty cream crackered, so I might stick this into the bundle one and, and jog it on. But uh, Global Gladiators, nonetheless, still a meat game for like three or four quid. You can't go wrong, really. I should just keep which is best here, best manual, and whatever's not very good, I shall uh, sell on. Um, this one here, um, apparently, is not working. I know that I have this, but this is a really nice condition box, and. It is Robocop 3, um, which I actually quite enjoyed on the uh, the Amiga. And this is in lovely, lovely condition. 
but this was sold as not working um, but I thought well you know I've got another version of it it's fully complete as well um, yeah it's a couple of marks in there cover that up it's got a bit of a tinge about the smell but I think maybe clean the disc it's got the dongle the all-important dongle if you don't have that the game won't work that was a, a copy protection back in the day and we're like, oh this is gonna be it well, you know we've, we've we've cracked it you know they're not gonna be copying any and this was brought out about three months before it hit the shelves by the by the by the uh, the hackers everything's here I just bought it as an upgrade for my box so like I said I shall get a working version and I shall um, probably bundle up the, the non-working version and sell in a bundle so but it was just just a case of just picking up a really nice little box of this and it is it is a really really nice clean box I, I enjoyed Robocop 3 it's a bit of a weird one sort of a 3D first person shooter I enjoyed it I thought it was quite cool the other one that I've got again, um, but you don't see this. <laughs> I don't know if you can see them in the background now. So I'm giving them away. Um, yeah, it's Adam's Family. Now, I've got this, but the one I've got is in terrible condition. I actually paid a little bit more for this, but not too much more. Um, like I say, it's in great condition again. Um, yeah, it's, everything's there. It's all uh, above wrapped. You've got the instruction manual, a, few, a couple of other bits of pamphlets and the disc. Um, and Adam's Family is a great game, great little platformer on the Amiga, uh, really really good um, but yeah I've definitely got this but not in very good condition this used to be sort of £10 all day long oh, that was delivered, I paid £10 for this one plus 3 or 4 quid delivery um, but it, now as I would say now Adam's Family you don't see it that often you don't see it in that good condition and usually I would say now it's a £20 plus game uh, so to get it for this price and in this condition really 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 happy with that so really sort of chuffed <laughs> so it's a really nice decent copy of that um this one's absolutely fantastic as well um a great little comp compilation the triad compilation um steve's been collecting these old cine steve and um yeah I, i'm not sure if i've got this one i've got a couple of them when i've seen the condition of this i thought i'd just put in a cheeky bid and um it's absolutely mint i don't know if you can see you know it's 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 uh I can try and catch this light doing a <laughs> of um I'm trying to think what they used to call it. It used to be the box porn, wasn't it? But it used to be uh oh Nintendo Dave when it used to do the box where you catch the light and just trying to where the light is. There's there's the light there. <laughs> the box porn. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it really is in tremendous condition this. Um, you know, no dense dinks or anything. It's it's in fantastic condition. I've not, not seen one in this condition before. Um, everything's in here. It's got all the discs, got all the manuals. Um, both in really, really nice condition. And this was incredible. No one else bid on this. Um, I believe it's a £5 bid and three or four pounds posted. So eight eight or nine pounds at the most. And this can go sort of 20, 20 quid plus quite often. So you've got Speedball, you've got Blood Money, and you've got uh, Rocket Ranger on there some great games there you know some really really good games and the eight quid eight eight quid i'm gonna pick it up all day long <laughs> right um we'll move on we'll move on we'll come back to me because I, the piece de resistance is is an amiga game <laughs> and uh but we'll go we'll we'll, we'll we'll move on to other things so uh, a couple of spectrum plus three discs um Tiger Road, I don't have, uh, so we'll give this a clean, and we'll give it a test. Um, Chase HQ, I've uh, got plenty of versions of this. Um, I do have a few on disc, but I'm going to give this one a clean, because apparently when I'd sold before, someone was like, oh, it doesn't work. I'm sure it worked in all three of my machines. I think they were just trying a fast one, but I accepted the return anyway. Uh, and Mickey Mouse, uh, again, plus three discs um mickey mouse has got manual as well um another game i had but i picked this up cheap which is match day two uh which is the cover and disc obviously just shoved that in a in a case i'll give that a clean put that in a case and uh we'll see where we go with that because i've obviously got a couple of those now as um my favorite um well favorite football game of all time really was international match day 128k so really it's just a sort of a uh, 
you know, sort of step on from there, really. Um, though I do used to believe I used to like the Chrysalis games, uh, which I think it was Man United. Uh, Man United games. It may have been a Liverpool game and a Man United game by Chrysalis. Same engine and that, I think. Uh, but they, they they were great games. I never really liked football games. I never sort of won for the football games, really. Um, right. <laughs> There's a few here that people are probably going to think I'm an absolute idiot for doing. But um, I sort of like the... Um, the oh, you, you can see it. I'll try and cover it up there. <laughs> so I sort of like the new exclusive uh, on, only on PlayStation sleeves. So I started collecting these. I've already got the games. Um, I won two bids on this one. So I've Uncharted 4. I've got another Uncharted 4. So one of those will be going up for sale. Um so yeah, basically I won that one for about six or seven quid. It's probably a bit overpaid then. And I won these four for fifteen. So you got the Uncharted Four. Um I just think they're really cool. Just really, really like them and I'd like to get them. There's ten of them all together. There's more than ten exclusive PlayStation only games, but there's only ten of these sleeve games that I believe. Uh you got your God of War. Um yeah, just I just I just think they're really cool, a really a really funky thing. Um, you got Spider Man. And you got The Last of Us remastered. Um and I think it's really, really cool. And I had to buy this with the game because it was like cheaper to just buy it with the game in uh I basically sell my, my one on. It's Event Horizon Zero Dawn. So it's the uh, complete edition. I have the complete edition sealed. So I'll sell my complete edition sealed to just uh, play this one. So then basically I've got this for like next to nothing with the sleeve. Um, the other ones that you can get are Ratchet and Clank, I believe. So you've got Ratchet and Clank, Shadow. Oh, what's it? Uh... Shadow of the Colossus, Ratchet and Clank, Shadow of the Colossus, um, Wipeout, which I believe you can pick up the game and the sleeve for tenor, so I'll do that that way and then sell the, the game. Um, and there's a couple of others. Uh, let me know in the comments. <laughs> I know what they are, I've, sort of, I've seen them and looked at them, but uh, yeah, there's ten altogether. I believe we've got four, five, five there, isn't it? Four or five, yeah, I've got five there. So we've got five to get, so... Um, sticking with uh, <clears throat> modern modern machines, uh, I've got Lord of the Fallen. Uh, I believe this is a complete edition as well. Yes, it's complete edition of Lord of the Fallen. Um, delivered four pounds, delivered brand new sealed. I thought for four quid, that's worth getting. It's, it's sort of a bit of a poor man's sort of Dark Souls, but nevertheless a really good looking game. A, quite a difficult game for four pounds. You can't go wrong. You really can't. You know, it costs you more than that for the DLC. Um, this game here uh, is just fantastic. I'm gutted that it's not available on Xbox because I've been playing it on Xbox. Um, I play it through Xbox Game Pass. Um, but when games come out and you want them in a physical, uh, and the only way to get them is on physical on PS4, that's what I'm going to do. Or I could have had to Switch, but I don't have a Switch. So, uh, Which is Hot Shots Racing. Now, if any of you haven't played this and love 90s racers, um, this is very much, I would say, what I would call this is like, to me, this is like Ridge Racer with Virtual ra Virtua Racer graphics. It's Virtua, isn't it, Pete? <laughs> I know all the retro don't, don't like it when people say Virtual. It's Virtua, isn't it? With an A. So, uh... Yeah, but this is a great game. If you haven't played this, this is fantastic. It really, really is good. It plays really well. It looks beautiful. Um, and this was only, I think it was just 20 or 25 quid. I think it was 20, 20 pounds. Roughly about 21 pounds, I think. And this, I, you know, this is going to be one one to collect in the future, I believe. Because uh, it's not there's not that many of them about, you know, that sort of look at, look at you know, got a, got a bit of a... Uh, advice from the lads of where to get it and uh went from there but yeah hot shots racing if you haven't played it if you've got xbox game pass it's free on xbox game pass just go there download it and and you can thank me later it's absolutely brilliant really really good game really good game i don't know if you see the 
the graphics there, but that doesn't do it justice. Really doesn't. Um, right, so we're on to <laughs> the last few bits and pieces. The last few bits. Nothing too exciting, these last ones, uh, apart from the very, very final game. Um, it's Task <laughs> Taskword Plus on the Plus 3, Spectrum Plus 3. You know me, I'm an absolute mental uh, Spectrum Plus 3 collector. Um, this is a word processor. I may have this already, but this was uh, really, really cheap. I think it's about £7.50. Um, so, you have to get that. It's in good condition. It's all, it's all there. It's all bought. And then you've got Task Sign. <laughs> the sign maker for your Spectrum Plus 3. So, you know, I'm going to make some signs. Oh, that's it. And that's what it looks like about as, it, as complicated as it gets. <laughs> Vote for me. You know, uh, I, might, I might do my new channel logo banner in that. Uh, but nevertheless, it's, it's just a bit of fun, isn't it? It's £7.50. Piece of history right there. How many people got those in their collection? Not Probably, probably me. And that's it. <laughs> uh, another one. Uh, by Microprose, um, which is an Airborne Ranger on a Spectrum Plus 3. And I got this because I looked at the, the back. I thought that this would be some sort of simulation. This is an action simulation. But it actually looks like, on the back, it looks like... I mean, these aren't going to be so... They're more like these C64 graphics there. Which I hate to say, but yeah, they're probably promoting it with C64 graphics there on the back. And that actually looks like some sort of Commando game or something, like, you know, Commando Arcade or something. It's probably absolutely naff. But I believe I paid £10 for this, and it's fully complete. It's all there. It's got the manual and the disc and everything. And, uh, yeah, so I've got, got the two Microprose games. I've got this and the other game over there, which is um, Gun Gunship, is it? So I've got two other games. I think there's maybe three or four that they did. Um, but yeah, so add that to the I think this was a tenner. So all, all uh, cheap and cheerful. And um, the piece de resistance, this is the last one. Um, I was actually given a heads up on this by um, our man, Silly Steve. And he sort of uh, pointed me in the direction of this one. And it's one I've been after for quite some time. I actually do own it on the... The plus three spectrum uh, twice, <laughs> so it's probably it's probably giving it away there. Um, but it's a game. It's it's probably the first computer game I ever played. Like you know, uh, like I say, I remember we we in infants we were like, oh, the the, the juniors have got a computer, and we all single filed and lined up, and we went up and had to go on the computer. And um, this is the one of the first games I ever remember playing, and it is. Granny's Garden, but not on the Plus 3. This is on the Amiga. The Commodore Amiga version of Granny's Garden. So I know City Steve's got this. Uh, now I have it. Um, it's not a particularly um, common game either. Oh, so I bought a um, another manual for the BBC Micro as well. And the manuals are different. There is some differences in the manuals. There's also some educational software uh, pamphlets and bits and pieces. Um and I believe Formation, they're still up the road. Rickett, no, Ricketts Media, Educational Media. They're still up the road, and that's not too far from me. I might get in contact with them and ask if I can come down and do a video or something like, you know, come down for the day and see what they're saying. Uh, <laughs> the disc is nothing special. It looks a bit looks a bit dirty. Oh, it's very oily. Um, you know, I'll have to give that a clean before sticking out of my machine. Uh, it's not in the best of condition, but it's pretty basic. It's just... Yeah, you know, it does feel very, very greasy. I've, I've just probably come off of the, you know, this stuff. I think it's the same sort of stuff that um, the PC Engine things are made of. You know, they're very sort of oily. But um, yeah, Granny's Garden. I mean, they haven't used the the the, the, the horsepower of the Amiga. It looks pretty much the same from the BBC Micro to the Spectrum to the Amiga. But such a little piece of history. This. Um, Especially if you're my age, probably years after my age, everyone played this. You know, this was this is part of growing up, basically. Uh, like I say, it was probably the first game I played. Definitely the first text adventure, um, and, and just very, very memorable and really, really, really good. And it's crazy what what I paid for this. This can go. This could easily go for like. Oof. It's been known to go for like hundred, hundred and fifty before. Um, and I put a silly bit, I think I put a bit of 
about 30 quid up, but 30 or quid. Um, because, you know, I didn't have money sort of, you know, for, put a cheeky bid in. Um, hopefully no one else had bid on it and everything. And uh, I think you ended up winning it for about 12 quid or something. So I'm absolutely chuffed as nuts with this because you don't see this every day, this game. It's, 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 it's what I've been looking for for years, um, especially since I didn't saw Steve get it. Um, you know, I've been after for years. You, you just don't see it. In a, you can see it, it goes for crazy money. And, uh, you know, to actually have my own, I'm, I'm, re I'm really sort of happy. I'm really, really happy with it. So, it's not bad at the things as, us collectors get excited about. So, all right, YouTube, um, that was uh, my latest video. Sorry I've been away for absolute ages. Uh, just haven't really had much to report. I've sort of been feeling it, uh, finding my feet, getting back into the videos and that. Um, so, it's uh, good to see you all. I hope you're all doing well. Not too long now, and we'll start being able to do a few more things other than go to the shops and go out for a bit of exercise. And, uh, and we'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Cheers. <laughs> right. Sorry, I absolutely forgot about this, and I need to do this because uh, he's a good friend of mine, and it's a, a channel that I'm really enjoying at the moment. It's a new ch uh, a shout out for a new channel. Um, a very good friend of mine, friend, you know, many of my stories from growing up. Uh, my friend Dave, my mate Dave, <laughs> aka Harry, aka Harry Ram Ram Char. Um, yeah, Dave's Dave's done an absolutely wonderful channel, and I've really been enjoying it. Um, and the channel name is Thirty Seven Retro, all as one word with a capital R. So um, go along and check that channel out. Uh, give him a sub, give him a like, give him a subscribe. Um, I'm really, really enjoying it. Uh, it's really weird because he sounds very, very professional and almost doesn't sound like my mate Dave. He very much reminds me of um, oh the oh the guy that Cindy Steve likes. <laughs> it's not a retro shed, is it? It's just, but but it's very, very well, well done. Uh, very, very. I like I like the channel. It's um sort of um, he does a comparison of the Spectrum versus C64. Uh, he does a very fair comparison as well. You know, some of the spec he wins, some of the C64 wins. Very, very, very good video. Um, probably don't watch all his videos. I'd say watch on. He's sort of done a few videos, like 3D videos and stuff of him playing games. I'd say watch on from where it says episode one, where it all began. And it's like a TV plug-in uh, a console that uh, I wasn't aware that he had. Uh, I never saw him play it. So I, I was learning stuff about me, mate. Um, like I say, um, 37 Retro. Give it, a, give it a like, give it a subscribe. And, and I'm really enjoying it. It's, it's vastly becoming one of my one of my favourite new channels, actually, because uh, I could, you know, a lot of the stories is from when, when we were growing up. And he and he does a really good video. So, right, this really is it. <laughs> Take it easy, YouTube. We'll see you soon. Cheers.